I'm in touch with humanity. Lillian, please. Timmy is stuck in the chimney. We need your help to get him out. Oh, for goodness sake, child. I'm busy here. Can't you see that? And what about the mess? If the soot I from the chimney is going to get all over the floor, and Mr. Peasant, Tenpenny will be furious. Go mad. This is no time to worry about a bit of soot. My friend could be in real danger. Danger? What danger? He's just stuck in the chimney. Just tell him to wiggle a bit more and I'm sure he'll be fine. You don't understand. He could suffocate in there or even get burned. We need to act fast. Ugh, why are you even speaking to me? Back in my day, I children were seen and not heard. He's going to be silent forever more if you don't help him. He'll literally butt in that chimney if you don't get him out. Fine, fine. I'll come out. But only because I don't want Mr. Tempany to find out about this mess. Thank you, Lillian. Oh, thank the stars for that. Hello. Uh, excuse me? Can you assist us? The usual. One of the chimney sweeps is stuck again. We got crooked chimneys. Happens quite a lot. Makes quite the mess. Look, go speak to the child. No doubt he'll blab about it all to you. I'm busy. Excuse me. Can you give me some help? That maid is really giving it to me. And my friend could use some help, pronto. It's Timmy. He's stuck in the chimney. There was just a bunch of scrambling, and then he started calling for help. Please, you've got to help him. He's stuck right up high, so we can't just be grabbing his legs and pulling. Well, when we've worked on these older chimneys, normally we grease them up first, but we didn't have the ticks to buy the oil. I'm sure if you could get Timmy some oil, he would slip right down. I mean, you look quite agile too. Maybe you could climb in and give him a pull? He'd probably come right down. Guess the other option is to get him a small brush. Something he can use to clear any soot stopping him from moving. I don't know what's best though. We just gotta do something. Yeah, we normally grease ourselves up so we can easily slide in and out of the crawls. However you decide to help. I do hope father is proud of me. I don't like it here. It makes me feel weird. Junk. Junk. Lovely junk. What's that smell? Oh, oh, it's you. Are you lost? I'm not a tour guide. Don't touch the wallet. There's a nice cafe on Bridge Street. One of my favorites. Probably a bit expensive for you, though.
people have a negative attitude. That's what's stopping them. I live in fear knowing you people can reproduce. Life at the top is immensely satisfying. Going up. Are you serious? I'm stuck in a chimney! Help me! Um, my hand is somewhat free, so if you can slide me up some oil, a small brush type of thing, and maybe even give me a push, it'd be great. Please hurry! Quick. Are 
Are you gonna help me? Huh? Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay you. Let's go find Dawkins. He'll be shocked, I bet. But please, don't tell Mr. Tenpenny what happened. The maid's already angry enough with us as it is. We don't need him on our cases, too. You're back, Timmy. You're alive. It was a close call, Dawks, but thankfully this good sport managed to get me out in time. I owe them my life. You sure you're okay? Not burnt or anything? Don't worry about it, Docs. You know me. I'm lucky! I, I will say, though, I'm just glad I'm still alive. Our friend here really did me a solid. You bet they did. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for saving my friend. You're a true hero. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Whoa now, Docs. We ain't got a pot to piss in as it is. I'm sure they have their own reasons for helping out. Go grab a drink, Timmy. Wash out any crap from the chimney. I'll speak with our friend. More like a drink to celebrate my survival. Seriously. Thank you. I thought I had lost my friend forever. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. I know it's not much, but it's the least I can do. Before you ask, yeah, it's nicked. I told you I don't have much to offer, but I've been watching Tenpenny's Mansion for a while and I managed to snag a few things. Just be careful with them, all right? I wouldn't want you to get in trouble because of me. I gotta go check on Timmy now. Thanks again, my friend. Look what you've done to the carpet. It's completely ruined. Do you have any idea how much effort it takes to keep this place looking pristine? I'll have to call in a specialist to clean and restore it. It won't be cheap. Is that a threat? Fine. We'll call it even. Just don't go spouting your mouth off to the newspaper. Is it outside the walls?
please maintain order and carry on. Questions will be answered at a <clears throat> much later time and date. A right bloody one. You don't speak like a proper gentry. You ain't one of them rich toffs, are you? Look, I don't know much, but I'm happy to help out anyone with two ungilded brain cells to rub together. Feel free to have a gander. Never heard that name before. Officially, no one's been blamed, but I'm sure some powdered wheat's gonna point a finger somewhere eventually. Oddly enough, not a soul on the train. When it cracked through the concrete, a few gentry called the Express to the pearly gates, though. Name a reason. This train came from Islington. Do you know the last time a train came from there? I don't. It's been decades since something ran that track. Which is why it was all cracked and busted. The train hit an upturned tie and launched itself topside. Then boom! The whole thing exploded into a fiery mess behind me. The gentry? This century, if we're lucky? You could wrap the world in the gentry's red tape. You'd think they would need this railway. Well, they do, and they don't. Since it's inside their walls, they'll fix it. Even if it's just to avoid the eyesore. But they don't need it. That track was abandoned. And this lot's got a fully working train line right beneath Westminster. Even you could probably catch a ride. It must be horrible to live in places without luxury. Looks like it's gonna rain soon. One day, these streets will be rid of these roundheads and cavaliers.
People have a negative attitude. That's what's stopping them. Save our gracious queen. You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. What? Stay safe, civilian.
Is there an override terminal?
Red car. Get it? We found it! But, um, I'm not sure what significance it has. It seems pretty bare. Maybe there's a trick or something? Go check out the other side, will you? I just found a pressure plate. I wonder what happens if... Uh, oops. How very amusing. My darling little mouse has gotten herself caught in my trap. Lady G! Curse you and your fiendish tricks! We will stop you! I swear it! What a guess you are, dear. But you say we? Oh. You have a pet with you. Hang about. What do we have here? You. Who are you? My, my. Look at you. You don't know, do you? Do you remember a certain vat, perchance? I had heard about a little slippage incident, but I wasn't quite sure to believe that one of your kind was really on the loose. My client is normally so careful. And you, girl? Do you even realize who you're traveling with? Did you fish them out of the vat yourself? Huh? A vat? But you can't mean... Oh, look at that confused face. You haven't the foggiest. Hmm. This does make things interesting. My client will be most gracious for this little catch. But then... Could I find a bigger buyer elsewhere? Would be a risk. Outside the city, perhaps. I shall have to think on this. Oh, don't you worry your little head about such trivialities, darling. Sit tight on that precious bottom of yours until Lady Chi sorts matters out now. I have business to attend to. Be seeing you. I'll get you, Lady G. Just you wait and see. And my sidekick's not for sale, neither. Curses. I can't believe I fell for such a simple trick. We need to find a way out. Worry not. I've broken into lots of places before. Breaking out is just as easy, right? I just need something a little explosive. Huh. This car is ancient. Let's see here. Is that a lead-acid battery? 
If I could get this hot enough, I just need a metal oxide. Oh, but this thing's fiberglass. Hey, companion! You got anything rusty around you? Oh yeah, that looks perfect. Toss the grill rack over. A shot, companion! Right. I can scrape this off, mix in some metal shavings, ignite a little pile, and, uh... Shit, shit, take cover! Uh, the fridge! To foil. Lady G must still be in the building somewhere. Let's catch her. No chance. Is something up? Right, yo. I escaped the jaws of death to face you once more. The enemy is afoot. Aha! Here's another try and forget. Now sends another fool who underestimated them. Secure the treasure hunter. Now come on. There's a botany section around here somewhere. We just need to find the apple tree. Sure, sure. Fine. Look, the apple tree. Quick, dig around the soil. We did it. We found the gold. Well, what's left of it, I guess. It seems like Lady D's client has spent the rest. I told you we could do more in this city. We've taken down a real evil conspiracy. And revealed more details of what secret forces are at work. And on top of that, I found out something special about you. No, dummy. I mean your whole VAT backstory. Lady G confirmed it's true. You know what that means? Sounds like a great objective for our next mission. But more importantly, it means I have a bona fide mysterious sidekick. How cool is that? I'll be the envy of the whole Treasure Hunters Club! Which, yes, is still just me. I guess I can make you an honorary member? We did just find a bunch of gold together. What do you say, companion? Let's go hunt some more treasure. Want to chat? Being this happy with someone is kind of weird, to be honest. But I can get used to it.
citizen, where do you think you're going? We don't allow just any rabble in there. Who do you think you are? Nope, never heard of you. Now what's your business here? You want me, a loyal subject of the realm, to give up information like that? How dare you? Dirt like that doesn't come cheap, you know. Fine, fine. I'll tell you what I know. Just promise to keep your mouth shut. Someone called Smythe has been putting a lot of pressure on Parliament. They want to round up the Cavaliers and Roundheads against the wall. Clean the streets. Reclaim the city for the good folk, and so forth. It seems like they hold a lot of power around here, but they've gone completely under the radar. The fact you know their name means you know more than most people. I was just about to get to that point, if you let me. There's an old law you might be able to make use of. A Parliament Representation Act 2177. They have to let you in if a representative from each tithe-paying London borough signs your petition. These days that would be Camden, Hackney, Lambeth, oh, <laughs> and Islington. That'll be a tricky one. Eastminster gets out on a technicality. They pay the tithe, but the law in question doesn't consider them a borough. The rest is simple. For one reason or another, they don't pay the tithe. You'd think the syndicate in the Tower Hamlets would, but they have their own arrangement. Trust me, there isn't. To tell you the truth, I've never even been inside. That's because it is. Never told you it would be easy. How am I supposed to know? Go there and ask them. Your determination is impressive. This is off the record, but if you aren't able to get any of the signatures, I know a guy who might be able to help. His name's Clifford. Sits in the cafe on Bridge Street most days, but he doesn't come cheap. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. Being a lord, all asleep. Are you there? Hello. I've never seen you before, and I never forget a face. Where are you from? Oh, a vagrant. Fascinating. I'm just curious, you see. It's not often we have brand new people here in Westminster. Perhaps we started things off on the wrong foot. I am the one and only Alistair Tenpenny, Lord and sole proprietor of Tenpenny Manor. A pleasure to meet you. I dare you to find a better group in this wretched, beautiful city of ours. Work is for those without a passive income, my dear. Perhaps one day you'll learn what that's like. Ah, yes. I wanted to know because, well, when I saw you, I thought there's a fellow who looks like they know how to get things done. You see, I have a very peculiar job with a large paycheck, the kind people like you don't walk away from. Do you understand? What? Heavens no! Listen, if you're in any way interested in a high-paying job, meet me later inside my manor. We'll discuss it there. Until then. Toodles. I think I'd enjoy a good fox hunt. It's a shame they fight back now. Well met, stranger. How can I help you? 
I don't know where you air such lies. I am an upstanding artiste. Ah, then why didn't you bloody say so before? Nice to work with you. I, I should say, I don't do marriage certificates. Not since the incident. Don't ask. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can forge you those signatures. All I need is some handwriting references. Letters work best. Don't care how you get them. The least I know, the better. First one will be about a hundred tickets. The next ones will cost you more. The more I write, the more you pay. So, bring me those references and I'll get to work, all right, Pop It? All I need is some handwriting references. Letters work best, don't care how you get them, the least I know, the better. First one will be about a... Uh, and I'll be, well, right here. I do hope Father is proud of me. Let's get away from it. Absolute skinfall last night. That bog sister gin. It's tasty.
kick. No, no Someone's after us. Quick, get them. You ought to do something about that hair. I hear the roundels all wear wigs. Bunch of fairies. Well, well. The Wayfarer. Isn't that something? Venturing into my territory is generally considered a bad idea. But I hear you're more competent than most. This city runs on information. And your new blood. Of some friends in the Vagabonds and elsewhere. Got a job for you. Something I need doing, and I need it done well. For the sake of my conscience. Indeed. It's of a sentimental and personal nature. I won't go into detail. I hear talk of a man at St. Paul's Sanctuary. John Marsh. I used to know a man by that name. I owe him a life debt. For a long time I thought him dead. If that isn't the case, I still owe him for that debt. If it's him, do whatever he asks, no matter what. When you paid off my debt, you'll be paid in cash. Question him. He's one of the few people who know my real name. The fact he knows it ain't Miller will be proof enough. Saved my life. A great risk to his own. I'm not a like man in London. I doubt the do-gooders at St. Paul's will let me back in without an army at my back. I'm not a like... Then go to St. Paul's and don't waste any time. I took a step back. Speak. What's it for? And why would you want to go in there? I've no time for gentry sympathizers. You better prove to me that you ain't one. Then I'll sign your little petition. Yes. Yep. Back off me. Last one. given everything to the sanctuary. You bandits won't get a... <coughs> a scrap. That's me. What can I do for you? The famed Miller of Islington. I knew him a long time ago. He was a very different man back then. Different name, too. I was new to the area. He'd just left the pistols. We did some odd jobs together, security work, that sort of thing. When I found out why he was no longer with the pistols, we parted ways. He murdered someone and was banished for it. 
I've been traveling. There's more to this world than London. We were in Lewisham, scavenging for old world technology. We got reckless, a roof caved in on us. I got out, he didn't. For some reason, I don't know, loyalty. I went back for him. Managed to dig him out before the building collapsed entirely. At the time, I told Miller he didn't owe me anything. He didn't like that. It made him feel lesser, knowing what he's become. I'm of a mind to take him up on the offer. <clears throat> if he really wants to pay off his debt, he could end his reign of terror. But he won't do that. Which is why he sent you, I take it. It's a matter of pride for him. Conscience has nothing to do with it. No one deserves anything, but... Oh, damn it. There is something. Something I need you to do. But it isn't very pleasant. As you can see, I haven't much time left in this world before I move on to the next. And I'd like to make that journey with someone. The love of my life, Jane. I lost her many years ago. But her soul, it isn't at rest. We were traveling through Newham together, got separated. She was delirious when I found her. She must have fallen into the marina. I carried her for a while, to the old airport. I couldn't help her. She'd already started to, to change, so I ran. I could never bring myself to look back. Until now. I need you to go there and put her soul to rest. Not just a ghoul. That wouldn't have mattered. A feral one makes you think twice about those commuters. Each one of them a person. Each one reduced to a base life. You can't kill what's already dead. That walking corpse is not the woman I love. It was so long ago, yet still so painful. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'm not going anywhere. Turning feral isn't the only way one can lose their humanity. It's who I was accepting it from that irked me. But I realize now this is too important to leave be. Quickly, if possible. Goodbye.
to die, idolater. Victory awaits. <laughs> Quit lollygagging, side. You can't fool me.
please. You have to help me. Lost? No. God, no. I, I, I sat on a landmine. I was searching for pre-walled sack near the marina. Got tired. So I sat down and... Click. It's one of those old-fashioned ones. Won't go off unless I move. <sighs> Tell me about it. That's a question I'll ask myself for the rest of my life. Fine. I was drunk as a lord, okay? My head was spinning like a clock. I virtually fell on the thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. There's a Pindar station down the road. It might still have a bank here. Please hurry. Thank you. Furnish me with light. It's hard to search for treasure here. Do you have the bed kit? Let's do this.
hope you actually did it. I'm alive. Thank you, stranger. I shall cherish every moment of life you've given me. Take this. I'm a scav by trade. Here's all my earnings. The least I can offer you. Oh, and I've got a stash nearby. Just southwest of here near the outflow pipes. What's in there is yours. See you around.
cannot defeat Kira the Almighty. That da -da -da. For good deals. Take a look. Goodbye. The more locks you can open, the bigger the world gets. Need help? You've come to the right place. Take care. Can I help you? Let's take a look at you. Take care. Afternoon. 